with him through all of this is amazing. And you're going to continue to do it, right? You're going to continue to do the show and him, you know what I mean, with him on it and just. So I have a merch line that says God said no. It has been very successful. I've sold plenty around the whole country. Um, and I don't move until God tells me. Good. So until I that drops in my spirit, I will be there. How much with him in the air? I don't know about that because I am protective of my peace. I'll be right. honest with you. Um, I what do y'all think about that? When I heard her say that, I, I like her reasoning as well. But like I said, I just feel like, I don't know if I will be able to do it. Okay, y'all. So I absolutely love Melody's take on not feeling moved to leave the show at this moment. You know, who knows what she'll do in the future. Because, you know, in a way, I do feel like she has outgrown the show. And she can definitely hold her own and hold it down doing her own thing. I would like to see a show with just her, me personally, and her kids, and her mom, and her business endeavors. I think it would be real nice. And her family and her friends. I would enjoy that. And also, I would like to see her date, you know, if they so choose to show that. But nevertheless... I honestly did learn a thing or two from you guys because if you guys have already voted, thank you for voting in my community tab. For the most part, y'all do feel as though the Holtz and most likely, more specifically, Melody makes this show for you guys. You know, she's a large part of the reason why you guys tune in. However, I was under the impression that she probably wouldn't want to be on the show after what she had went through with Martell and going through a divorce. You know, I always thought that you're supposed to get as much distance and go ghost from the person that, you know, you're breaking up with. And especially if you guys were together, you know, but I like the fact that she was like, I'm not leaving until like, you know, she feels as though she needs to leave. And I also understand like a breakup is different from a divorce. So, you know what I mean? That is a little... You know what I'm trying to say? It's like a, a little bit more weight that's on the whole divorce than a regular everyday ma uh, everyday breakup that, you know, you or I or anybody that hasn't been married may have experienced. But nevertheless, I wanted to see what information was out there on how to navigate a working environment with the next. And what we'll probably see Melody do on the show. And also what you guys probably do. If you guys have dated um, a person that you worked with and then you guys broke up and then you guys still have to work together. Kudos to you guys because I know for certain, one thing's certain, two things for sure. I'm going to be trying to find another job in the background. Like, uh, I don't want to see you. You know, I'll keep it professional. I'll keep it cute. But uh-uh. <laughs> I'm going to try to find another job, you know? So I found an article online by um, Forbes. So I guess this is actually a thing. And it was titled, How to Work with Someone After a Romantic Breakup. And the first thing that I wanted to touch on was the one that resonated with me the most from this list. And it says, focus on the work. Now, I like that. I like the fact that, you know, it's saying focus on the work. When you put on your working hats, like, okay, I'm here to do a job. So whatever I have going on in the background at home with this person, he's annoying. I don't like him. Get on my face. Ew, I don't want to see him kind of thing. That comes secondary to me making my money. So I should be able to carp, cup, what's the word? Compartmentalize. That's what the article mentioned. Compartmentalize my feelings and just I'm here, I'm showing up, I'm clocking in, I'm here to do my job, my clients love me, the people love me, so let me do what I need to do in this working environment, forget my ex, I'll deal with that when I get home, you know, my break or whatever, but nevertheless, I'm going to be present in my job, and I'm going to work at my job at the time allotted to do my job, and I realize that resonates with me because I'm already a person that likes to comp compartmentalize my life to begin with so i'll be like from this time to this time i'm doing this from this time to that time i'm working on that so literally it i could imagine it being the same thing as working with your ex i feel like my work wouldn't falter but i don't know i just feel as though like seeing them will be a constant reminder of what we had so i feel like it's easier to get over a person when you have distance and not to say that because this is also a different level because they are also on a tv show kind of thing <laughs> so i understand it's totally different but you know i still find it interesting to really think about because it's something that a lot of people may face or have faced so that's the first thing if you find yourself in a situation where you have to um be around your ex 
while working or doing work, <laughs> just keep your eyes on the prize and focus on the work. You know, try to maintain your professionalism at all times, regardless of how you feel. And another way I wanted to mention about how you can work with an ex, um, if you find yourself in this situation, because now I see why people say you shouldn't date the people that you work with. You know, love and work should be separate if at all possible you know but they say you never sell you know what you do where you rest that kind of thing you don't you don't poop or you don't you don't do nothing that where you where you rest that or where you make your money like you don't kind of try to keep those things separate but i understand life be life and feelings be feeling so hey things happen but nevertheless let me know from you guys drop a comment below and tell us if you have ever had to work with an ex you know like y'all was dating and then y'all broke up and you still had to be there like let us know how you navigated and what that was like for you if you do if you so do care sharing oh caring is sharing if you do so care <clears throat> if you do so feel led you know sharing is caring if you feel like it but another way to work with an ex is to keep it professional and behave as if you are unaffected by the situation. And this tip is actually coming from an article called pairedlife.com. And I like this tip. It's almost one of those faking until you make it situations. And I feel like this can actually help you get over this situation quicker because acting unbothered for me, I feel like will eventually lead to you really being unbothered. You know, what started out as an act is actually now how you really feel kind of thing. <laughs> you know, just like how method actors, they, they, they work the part, they actually become one with the part because they do it so like they're, they're doing emotions and they're feeling the emotions that it now becomes one with their personality. So I really do like that whole fake it until you make it, you know, act unbothered. Even if you are bothered, it's okay. Act as though you're not. <laughs> because, you know, to me, I feel like by you telling your mind and body how to act, what to do and how to behave, your heart will fall in line with that as well you know your emotions will fall in line as well you know you gotta sometimes the scriptures say i think myself happy i like that scripture so everything starts with the thought you know you can you can think yourself skinny you can think yourself at the beach and then you can think yourself in a mercedes benz and you think it and think it and think it and think it and think it to where your actions become it, become it, become it, become it, become it. And then you'll be manifested and you're in it and you're in it and you're in it. So it just like, it all starts with the mind, starts with the mind, you know. <laughs> so I think that was a really, really good tip. And the article also mentioned how you'll have the upper hand if you behave as if you are totally cool with the situation. And that is really good advice. And in this situation in particular regarding Melody, I can actually see her being unbothered because for the most part, I'm sure she has already accepted that the relationship is over, but she still has to be cordial with this man for the sake of her children and them co-parenting together. However, it's no need to be bothered because, you know, you accept that sometimes things don't work out as you thought they were. And after you cried your tears, you're ready to dry your eyes off and move on because at the end of the day, she still has a whole lot of life to still live. You know what I mean? She still has. What did what'd she say? She don't have friends to make, but cash to checks to make or y'all know what she said <laughs> she don't have friends to fake but she y'all know that so it's still a whole bunch of more life to live regardless of her not being with martell anymore and you know that's something i want to say to you guys as well no matter the situation you find yourself in you could be going through something that like a disappointment depression anxiety fear all that stuff don't let it get to you because you still have more life to live. It's still much more things for you to experience and enjoy and love life. You know, so we we acting unbothered. We standing still until we see the salvation of the Lord in our lives, regardless of what it looks like right now. So literally, you really can act unbothered. Don't, don't let with the situations. Don't go by what you see or what you feel. Go by what you believe. You better believe that God has a better future for you. Okay? Keep on going. I think it's, that's one of my other favorite scriptures, y'all. It'd be like, um, I would have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Like, no, uh-uh, we're going to see these things come to pass. You know what I mean? The things that you desire that's in your heart that have not going away like come on now they're for you you know so stick with it okay 
<laughs> but the final tip, because like I said, these articles had a bunch. Like, oh wow, okay, so you really. But overall, they all have the central theme, which is maintaining your professionalism and keeping your feelings outside of work, kind of thing. And this final tip that came from Forbes that I want to end off with says always take the high road when you interact with an ex now we all know doing this with martel is not all that easy but nevertheless <laughs> it can be done just understanding that although you can't control your ex's actions you can always control yours and being the bigger person shows a lot of strength to your character and i feel like that's really really true it's like deciding how i'm going to act regardless of what's coming my way kind of like remember that episode of fix my life y'all with the um girl kamai mosley who got like kidnapped by um a lady and she just grew up believing that lady was her mom then she got reunited with her real family so you know yana wanted to help her out kind of thing and remember how like she went off on the yana because he ain't never seen this side he never had to see this side why not exactly because who you who are, the are. gonna tell me it's i'm gonna stay some and tell the person I but Iana still kept her composure, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, she realized she had a job to do. The show must go on. So although you can be throwing tomatoes, 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 I'm still here to do my job, my service, and I'm going to show up and do it well. Like, regardless of the uncomfortableness or whatever, I, I'm not going to be uncomfortable. It's not going to be awkward for me. I'm going to tell myself what to think, how to be. And just be at peace with that. You know, even I feel like in life, even when the storms of life are raging all around you, you can still have peace in the storm, you know? So that's what I'm glad that it, it seems as though Melody is doing. But and just I guess maybe I can do it, too, if I ever find myself in a situation. <laughs> Nevertheless, let me know what you guys think. And I will be talking to you guys again soon. Do not forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Medicine, quite a man, a girl was having sex. Medicine, quite a man, a girl was having sex.